Hey, it's Jazz, and this is Wildlife Matters. In some parts of the world and in some countries, places have gone mask-free, as populations have finally become vaccinated. Now, I don't know what part of the world you're watching this video from, but from where I'm at, it feels like we've gone back to square one. Here in the Philippines, we started March of last year going into the extended community quarantine. I can still remember the fear and the nervousness we had knowing that we wouldn't be able to go to our jobs, we wouldn't be able to hang out in public places and even in private. Birthday parties, weddings, funerals, they're just no longer the same. And now, reports of a mutated strain, reports of a new strain, there are just so many headlines about how coronavirus isn't just getting better in navigating its way through people's lives, but even stronger and stronger by the numbers. Will coronavirus ever end? Many experts are saying probably not, and that it's just gonna continue to be there like a cold, a fever, and all we can do is try and find a vaccine or a cure. Now, I've already talked about how coronavirus came as a result of our over-exploitation of our resources, our disregard for wildlife, and much more. You know, with the illegal wildlife trade and improper practices with the agricultural industry playing huge, huge factors. But I believe that there is hope in people learning. There is hope that the future generations won't do the same mistakes again. Because if we don't get a grip on ourselves and what we're doing to destroy the environment, then coronavirus is just one of many pandemics that are still to come. And you know, since there's already so much negativity in the news around us, let's take this video to a positive note and talk about the best scientific breakthroughs that happened ever since the coronavirus started. So if you're feeling pretty sad right now, you need to see this. Number one, the giant scorpion. In Sri Lanka, researchers found Found a new species of scorpion named the Yala giant scorpion. These species are huge as females can grow to about 4 inches while males can grow up to 3. Scientists have found an interest in studying these scorpions in an island in Sri Lanka where large forest dwelling scorpions can be found. Scorpions have caused the death of many people but despite all of that, humans are still the bigger threat. As these species are threatened by the illegal wildlife trade due to their popularity as pets. Number two, the Jonah's mouse lemur. Madagascar is home to 108 species of lemurs. One group of these nocturnal primates are called mouse lemurs. There are 25 species of mouse lemurs and they are the smallest group of primates in the world. They are so small that they are about the size of a human fist. I will love you forever and ever and give you all the hugs in the world. And scientists have recently discovered a new species of mouse lemur called the Jonas mouse lemur, which is bigger than the usual mouse lemur and has a reddish brown body and a white stripe on its nose. It also has really thick fur and very small ears. Now these guys can be found in only a small portion of Madagascar's lowland forests. However, just like many of its animals, it is still threatened by deforestation. In fact, all 108 species of lemurs in Madagascar are threatened with extinction because of deforestation. And you see, we have so many species and even new species that we need to protect. So raising awareness about why we should save our forests should be our goal. Number three, Bolivian species. In Bolivia, there was an expedition wherein scientists recently discovered so many new species, including a new species of frog, one that measures around 10 millimeters, about the size of an aspirin. Considering how small this creature is, it was extremely hard to find and almost impossible, and it probably wouldn't have been found if it wasn't for the very distinctive sound that it makes. Unfortunately, we don't have footage of that yet. However, the best thing about this expedition is not only did they find a new species of frog, but also 20 other new species including a new mountain fur lance, several orchids, and butterfly species, and a few species that were once thought to be extinct, including the devil-eyed frog. Now it's amazing to know that those species that we once thought were gone from the face of the earth we're just hiding all along. Number four, the tree spider crab. In India, a new species of tree spider crab was found on the pillars of a bridge near some mangrove trees by the Chathari River. Now this crab is very small. It's about 14 by 13 millimeters and has a 
purple coloration and is the first of its kind that was found in that country. Now crabs are crucial, especially for mangrove forests because they keep soil healthy and their diet helps recycle nutrients needed to balance the health of these ecosystems. Indeed, no creature is too small or too insignificant. Number five, pit viper. In the Himalayas, a new species of pit viper was recently found. These pit vipers are dominantly green, but for the males, they have reddish orange stripes on their head and their bodies. But the most interesting thing about them is, hold your horses, Potterheads, as this creature was named after J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. And it's called the Salazar's Pit Viper, which was named after Salazar Slytherin. Cool, right? Number six, a false gecko. In Luzon, Philippines, several new species of false geckos have been discovered. There are now 10 species in the false gecko genus, and all of them are found exclusively in the Philippines. That's right, only in the Philippines. The 10th false gecko to have been discovered and named is called the Bicol Hollow Dwelling Forest Gecko. And the name takes after how these geckos like to hide in hollow areas such as logs. In terms of appearance, these creatures have Y-shaped markings along its tail and golden yellow eyes. They are quick creatures and are amazing at camouflage. And so far, scientists have discovered very little about them in terms of their habitat range and requirements. But hey, discovering about their existence in itself is a win for science and for wildlife. Number seven. In Vietnam, an odd species of snake was recently discovered. This ground-dwelling snake has unusual scale patterns, crazy iridescence, and a lack of bright light photoreceptors, which help it adapt to its burrowing lifestyle. Researchers believe that this snake will pave the way for discoveries about snake evolution as they think that it has probably evolved earlier than most species of snakes. And like I said, these guys have a burrowing lifestyle, so they spend most of their times underground. And that's why it took so long for them to be found. But nonetheless, what a cool discovery and a way to add spark to what has already been a really dark 2020. Number eight, the Joaquin Phoenix spider. In Iran, a new species of velvet spider was found. It has a strikingly red and white pattern that reminded people of the Joker, who was recently portrayed by Joaquin Phoenix in the 2019 Joker film. And so this tiny spider was scientifically named after the actor as Luridia Phoenixi. Not sure if I butchered that. It's so small that it measures only eight millimeters. It's also the first of its genus to be found outside the Mediterranean. Luridia spiders or velvet spiders are a genus of spiders named after the late rock star Lou Reed. These spiders are known to exhibit unique behaviors such as building communal nests and cooperatively caring for their young. Such a cool looking spider indeed. And knowing that Joaquin Phoenix, the actor, is such a huge animal lover, I think the name was well-deserved. Number nine, lost and found, the Gutman's stream frog. In the Ala Valley Watershed Forest Reserve in the Philippines, or the AVF, or the AVWFR, or the AVWFR, scientists have recently discovered a frog that was thought to be gone for 28 years. During a protected area assessment last September 2020, a scientist chanced upon the said animal and had it confirmed by the herpetologist who discovered and named that species. And true enough, it was a win, as we now know that these frogs are not extinct like we thought they were. No longer lost and finally found. This is a big win for the AVWFR because it's believed that the population of this species in that area is the only known living population of this frog in the entire world. And last but not the least, just this year, last March, a very rare species of fish was discovered for the first time here in the Philippines by a marine biologist who said that he was diving in Anilao Batangas when he noticed an unusual fish that resembled a juvenile batfish. And luckily, he was able to take a single photo of the said fish before it swam away. And apparently, the fish he saw was the rare sailfin velifer. And this was the very first time it has been documented in the Philippines. A fish so rare that even if you try to Google search its images, there are probably around only less than 10 pictures that you'll find on the web. Whew. 
thinking about this gives me a certain spark of hope knowing that after all we've done to destroy wildlife and now that we're reaping the consequences of our bad decisions, it's nice to know that while we're all staying indoors and taking a break from our typical lifestyle, nature is getting the chance once more to just thrive and be what it is. And you know, my heart pours out to everyone right now who is suffering and struggling in this season and especially my fellow Filipinos as we are now back, like I said, in extended community quarantine. I know that it's a scary time and hospitals are full, people are dying, and it seems like we're running out of hope. But hold on to that little hope that you have left. Hold on to hope that the earth is slowly healing and, you know, slow progress is still progress. Next time, we will be better. We must learn to take care of the planet because if there's anything that this pandemic has taught us, it's that every piece of wildlife matters. Mm -hmm.